Hey everyone, tomorrow morning I will be flying to Scotland, for the first time properly actually, to run the Loch Ness Marathon. And in this bag is everything I'm taking with me for race day. I thought you'd want to have a look. Welcome to PKS Runs. So welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Paul, this is PKS Runs and I am just two days away from the Loch Ness Marathon. I'm aiming for a 2.55 time so that I can get a good for age qualifying place at the London Marathon in 2025. But we are here to talk about gear. I love gear. I love tech. I love running clothes. So this is going to be a fun one. So let's dive straight in and have a look at all of the tech I'm going to be taking with me on race day. So the first bit of kit is my GoPro. I'm going to be taking the GoPro Hero 13 Black and this is a brilliant camera. You can see I've got the wide angle lens here on the end and I've got it on the little small GoPro tripod which means I can just carry this and I can get some film footage whilst I'm running. I know that people are going to be keen to see Loch Ness, it's going to be beautiful, you're going to want to see me suffer, you're going to want to see the finish line triumph and this is going to enable me to be able to do that. Second up we've got my trusty Garmin watch, it's the Epix Pro Gen 2, uh, it's big, it's bulky and I freaking love it. Um, it is my absolute running data center. It's got my heart rate, it's got my sleep scores, my stress levels, and honestly, I live in this thing. It's got an incredible battery life, and having had various different Garmin's before, and Apple Watches, this is the best watch. Honestly, I love it so much. I will be keeping track of pace, I'll be keeping track of my progress on this. Cracking watch. Can't recommend highly enough. Third piece is in this case here. It is my Shox Open Run Pro 2 headphones. Uh, pretty in orange, you can see there in the case. And these are clever little headphones because they are bone conducting. So you see here, they just sit over the ears and they actually conduct music through the bone, through vibration. Look, I don't know how it works. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an audiologist. All I know is that I can hear everything that's going around me and I can also hear music. Now, I'm going to have Charlie with me, so it would be rude if I just plugged in and listened to music the whole way, but I know there are going to be points in the race where I'm going to need that little extra kick of motivation, probably going up the hills, and so I'll be able to just pause, unpause. I'll have my Tomorrowland playlists uh, EDM, hardcore, all the way. And yeah, these are brilliant. Super lightweight, don't even know that you're wearing them. Next up, and this is a late addition to the party, and I wasn't gonna carry it, and then I've decided that I would, and then I wasn't, and I would, but here it is. It's my phone. Um, sounds really stupid, but uh, it's an iPhone 15 Pro, takes lovely photos. Um, honestly, the reason I'm bringing it is I can't really be bothered to figure out how to get music onto my watch. That just seems like way too much of a ball ache. I run with my phone anyway. I'm often carrying the GoPro as well on a, on a much heavier uh, tripod. So honestly, from a weight perspective, it doesn't matter. I know that I might want to do like a little Instagram live at the start line or something like that. So you know what? May as well just carry it. Who cares? I think for the sake of a few extra grams, I don't think it's going to make any difference. We'll find out on Sunday. Okay, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about running clothes. Starting with my running shorts. I like a nice short and airy short. These are the Nike Fast Dry Fit shorts. I keep the inner lining in. Always used to take them out and run in boxes, but I'm gonna be going commando under these bad boys. You might remember I wore a very fitting pair of white shorts at the Sydney Half Marathon. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of confusion with my bowels, uh, my gut, and my wind, and I didn't actually realize I'd sharted. So uh, I'm gonna go for black because brown and white isn't a good mix. Brown and black you can get away with. Then I'm gonna be wearing my Nike Fast vest. 
It's white, it's clean, it's gonna make my tan pop and my muscles pop even more. Um, not a lot to say, comfortable, lightweight, proven in training, it works. Now working our way down my leg, normally prefer it the other way around, um, we've got my Kipron calf sleeves. Uh, these are compression sleeves which will effectively help with circulation, they help to reduce the vibrations in the muscles which just limits chance of injury and helps to keep the legs a little bit fresher for a bit longer. So these are gonna be in the bag and I'll be wearing these on race day. Sock wise, I'm gonna be wearing the Nike Spark lightweight sock and they really are lightweight they're pretty much see-through um, so feet obviously sweat loads you don't want a whole load of wet socks going on so these are short uh, they're ankle socks because I'm in my 40s I'm not wearing crew fit uh, that is very much like a teens and 20s thing um, I'd love to wear crew socks but then I wouldn't be able to wear the calf sleeves anyway doesn't matter um, I'm not here to look cool. Well, I mean, you say that, I wanna look cool, uh, but I'm not, I'm in my 40s. I have got a new haircut though, don't know if you noticed that. Um, I've got a nice clean fade, that will definitely help me feel fast on race day. Okay, on to my shoes, and I am gonna be running in these. These are my Nike Alpha Fly 3s, quite frankly, uh, they are the GOAT when it comes to uh, running shoes. Absolutely love them. They are super lightweight. Look, I can hold them in one hand. Uh, I could probably even hold two in one hand. Um, but equally, I can also hold a 25 kg dumbbell in each hand. So, hey, look, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, anyway, these are going to be light. They're going to be fast. And honestly, I've not run in them since I was in Australia. Uh, I can't wait to get back in them. Super excited. Okay, next up, we're gonna think about a few things that are not kind of clothing related, but I will be wearing them and they are gonna make a difference. So the first thing is my fuel belt. I'm wearing this Kip Run um, trail running belt from Decathlon. It's got tons of storage. I can get my GoPro in there. I can get all of my gels in there. I can get my phone in there. I could probably take an anorak if I wanted to, but I'm not an anorak kind of guy. Um, anecdotally, when wet, this is significantly lighter than my flip belts, which were my other options, uh, really, really useful, but they're quite heavy material, and when they get wet, they're really, really heavy, and I anticipate sweating like a rhino, so this is gonna be a good call. Next up, my Sun God Ultra sunglasses. Now, these are gonna look a little bit funny indoors, but they're super lightweight, and they are adaptive, so when the sun comes out, these are gonna get darker. It means I can see everything on the road, and honestly, they just feel a bit cool. Um, I probably look like a complete twat, but I, I don't care. Uh, I'll be pleased if the sun comes out, and when I've got these on, uh, it's gonna be helpful. And also, just take some of the pain out of the eyes in the photos. I. Uh, tend to look a little bit like I'm stoned when I'm running. So I just want my eyes to look nice, I want them to look fresh and pretty, and these glasses are gonna do the job. They're super lightweight, super comfy, and they've got an absolute ton of fingerprints on them. I'm gonna clean them before the race day, I promise. Okay, final thing that I will be applying and wearing is Body Glide. Uh, you're not gonna have to imagine too hard where this goes, but I'll be giving this a good old once over in the undercarriage, the nether regions. Also just down here, I tend to get a little bit of uh, rub here, but this is gonna stop the chafing, uh, or at least manage the chafing. So an absolute essential, wouldn't wanna be without this. And now onto nutrition. This is something that I didn't get right at the Manchester Marathon. I cramped really badly. Uh, I did set off too fast and that had something to do with it, but I cramped badly and I wanna make certain that that doesn't happen again. So firstly, I'm gonna be uh, just taking these uh, before I run. Uh, I won't take these with me, no one's gonna take a tube. There's gonna be water available on the course, um, but I will be taking these Science and Sport Hydro Tablets. I'll have probably one at breakfast and I'll probably have one just before we get off the, the start line uh, along with an energy gel, which I'll talk about next. Energy gels, I am gonna be using the Science In Sport Beta gels. You can see that we've got one here that is just a regular gel, 
and this one has nootropics. What are nootropics? Well, loads of stuff that's gonna help with cognitive function, brain, caffeine, taurine, all sorts of stuff. It's basically gonna make me feel alive. The plan is to have uh, one of these gels every 30 minutes. These have got 40 grams of carbohydrates in them, so I'll be consuming about an 80 grams per hour. I have been carb loading yesterday, today, and I will be tomorrow, so hopefully my muscles will be full of glycogen, ready to perform. So as I mentioned, there is gonna be bottles of water on the course, which is fantastic for keeping you hydration. However, when you sweat loads, you lose the salts in your body, you lose electrolytes, and you've gotta to top those up somehow. So I'm gonna be eating uh, a couple of these as I go around, salt stick, electrolyte, fast chews, they taste of lemon, but effectively they're salt. Um, so these are gonna hopefully prevent cramps. They will be what I'm hoping will be a complete game changer. If all of that doesn't go to plan and I do end up cramping, I will be carrying this little bottle of magic cramp fix spray. You open it up, put a spray on the tongue like this, It tastes absolutely vile. It's basically like vinegar, um, but it will help with the cramps. So three or four sprays, it says, and if it reappears, just go again. So this is gonna be really useful. <laughs> Disgusting. Sour cherry, apparently. Sour, 100%. And the final thing that is gonna go with me on race day is these Revies. These are little strips. Um, in there is 40 milligrams of caffeine. It just dissolves on the tongue. So I'll probably have one of those just before the race starts. And maybe in that final 30 minutes of the race, just a little kick to get me to the end. Uh, these are great little bursts of energy. So uh, that will hopefully come in useful. So that is everything. That's everything I'm taking with me uh, well, not everything, I'm taking other stuff with me to Scotland, but that is everything that will be going with me on the race on Sunday at the Loch Ness Marathon, where I am going to be aiming for 255, sub 255, which is actually 254, um, maybe even a squeak faster. I feel good, I feel excited, I feel ready. All I need to do now is chuck all that stuff back in my bag and head to the airport tomorrow morning for the start of this weekend. I cannot wait, super excited. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of the other videos uh, from the weekend. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in.